Hello everyone, uh, welcome to my new video. I'm so excited to be sharing a new project with you. It's gonna be a computer vision project. And as you can understand from the title, we will be building a face recognizer. So, here we go. First, we have to install the libraries. So, if you checked my article, you will know which libraries you have to install. And I'm assuming that you installed them and then come back. And then we will continue working on this project. So, here we go. I have my Jupyter Notebook opened in my computer. As you can see from the screen, we have the libraries over here. So, first things first, let's import those libraries. So when I click Shift Enter, that block of code will run. Here we go. And then here we are defining two lists. One of them is for encoding the faces. The other one is to enter the names. I'll come back to that. So here we are uh, getting the current directory of this Jupyter node. So the current folder, like the folder we are in. So this method gives that to us. So after that, we are defining the path of the images. So in this folder that I am currently in, I have a folder named data. And inside that folder, I have a new folder called faces. So I've added my images inside that faces folder. And here we are going through those faces, those images. And as you can see, the format has to be JPEG. In this case, you can work with different files if you want. But since JPEG format is small and easier to work with, we will go with JPEG. So let's run this line. All right, let's run this one. Here we are basically going through the files and then copying the names of those files. So, what are the names look like? Let me show you. Here we have seven pictures. One of them is Taylor Swift. The second one is Robin Williams. The other one is Tom Cruise, Bill Gates. That's me. Jeff Bezos and we have the CEO of Google as you can see on the screen so as you can see the names I've entered their first name last name and a dash between first name and last name so this is a great way to know who is in that image so here it helps us to get the names using that file name okay and then in the next step we will be training our program so by training I mean we are teaching the machine the program so in which image whose face are we seeing so we are telling the program that this image belongs to this person so that the machine knows when it checks and finds the image it knows whose face it belongs to and as my, as I mentioned in the article uh, there are two learn machine learning methods one of them is supervised learning and the other one is called unsupervised learning in this exercise, we are doing supervised learning. We are telling the program that this image belongs to this person. How are we doing that? 
by renaming those images. So I hope you, you get this point. And then here we are going to train our program. So I just run the program. I mean, I just run the line, the block. Yep, it's completed. So we have the names. So let's check. Here we go. These are our file names. Like each one belongs to that person. You can even delete this part if you want, but just to make it easy and simple, I just left it as it is. So in this block, what did we do? We just created three lists. One of them is locations, the other one's encodings, the other last one is face names. Okay, and then here we come. This is where the magic is gonna go. The magic is gonna happen. So we have, we will be using open CV modular in this line. We are telling to open the camera, the camera of the computer, of the device. So zero is stands for the, the webcam of the computer. So if you are using an exten, extensional, like external camera device, you will be changing this value and you can find which camera is which and which uh, ID. And then here we go. This is the whole code to do this magic happen. All right, I will run the code. Shift enter. By the way, if you want to learn more about this, uh, to learn more about this code, you can go through the lines and read the comments if you want. So here we go. So our program is trying to understand who is in the video. So for me, it tells that I am unknown maybe because the lights it doesn't match with the with the image that I've uploaded to the video to the folder so as you can see if there is a face that it's unrecognized it's gonna still find the face but label it as unknown so here I'm gonna get my phone here it is so as I mentioned earlier we have a couple other people so Taylor Swift here she is so I'm gonna find Taylor Swift's image from the internet and show it to our program will it recognize her so let's search Google and then I'm going to images I will if I put the same image it's easier for the machine to understand so first let me show you with the same exact image it's gonna be an easy one for the machine for the program so here we have the image as you can see it knows that it's Taylor Swift so I will show a different image this time a different image of her as you can see the machine still recognizes her and one more cool thing it can also see and find two images at the same time so I think because of the lightning this yeah now it's better so I'm gonna find an image of let's say 
Bill Gates. How about Bill Gates? So I'm gonna search Google. for Bill Gates. Here we go. Let's go to images. Yep. I found him. Let's see if the machine is gonna recognize him. Yep. It knows that it's Bill Gates. Even when I use a different image of him, it still recognizes him. It's kind of challenging, but still, it's really good. It's doing well, actually. So, yeah, that's that was it for this project. So basically, we are doing machine uh, learning, face recognizing. Okay, let's get back to the main camera. So I hope you enjoyed this video, and I hope you learned something cool. This is a great uh, computer vision project, face recognition, and you will find many other resources, articles about this. If you want to learn more, check Google and find cool stuff on Google that you can practice with. So I just did a step-by-step -step walkthrough with you. I hope it was uh, clear and I hope you enjoyed it. And please subscribe to my channel if you if you want to uh, see more of this kind of projects and please reach me if you have any questions while implementing the code I will share the contact information contact link uh, in the descriptions below so that's it for this video and thank you bye